Welcome to Magna Rail's YouTube channel. The following video is number three in the classic mini series by Richard Gawler using Magna Rail and the popular Arduino microcontroller platform. I asked Richard to explain in layman terms what he's achieved, but there's also a running sheet of his Arduino program at the end of the video for you Arduino geeks. Basically, the systems drive a model car and a Magna Rail bike around a small circuit. The system has a start button with an associated LED and also supports a small display to provide a speedometer for the car, a lap counter and simple text messages. After the system powers up by pressing the start button, of course, it sends the car to its garage and parks the bike beside the curb near the roundabout. It does this because it has no idea where the car was uh, last time it was switched off. The worst case scenario is that the car was already in its garage and does a complete lap. In a normal operation, pressing the button sends the car and bike on two or three laps of the road. The Arduino software controls the speed of the chain throughout operations and provides the acceleration and braking as the vehicles go around the circuit. It also controls a servo moving the Magna Rail channel sideways at the exit from the roundabout. See the video Classic Mini number 2 for a full description and explanation of this procedure. The servo movements help to represent understeer, oversteer and neutral handling for the car and also make sure the bike parks beside the curb at the end of the cycle. Alternatively, pressing the button for more than one and a half seconds starts the system in its car swap mode. The car leaves its garage where it's inaccessible to the operator and stops on the mini roundabout where the user can lift off the road and place another car in its place. Press the button again to restart the system and away you go. The display is a simple LCD module showing the text characters on two rows of 16 characters. The system uses the top row to show the scale speed of the car and a lap counter in the bottom row to show the text messages to help the user. The system has extensive logging to track the progress of the models and to let Richard fine tune the software. The software writes its log messages to the serial monitor of the Arduino. Pressing the start button for more than three seconds enables additional debug mode in which the software uses the bottom row of the display to show logging information. The software determines the number of laps. There's a random selection of two or three laps for normal operation or one lap for car swap mode. No offence to Richard, but he's king of the geeks, enjoying building the layout but also tweaking the Magna Rail system with reed switches, servo motors, electronic displays and programming of the Arduino chip to create changes to the speed and path of the vehicles for his and your enjoyment. We look forward to the next stage where Richard will be working on scenery and covering the roadbed now that he has done his proof of concept. Thank you Richard.